Welcome back to Anderson Smoke Show. We've gotten a lot of requests on how to clean the Masterbuilt Gravity Series 560. We're gonna show you how to do it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so that you can keep up with the latest content. Be sure to like the video, write me a comment. Let me know what you think. Now let's get to cleaning this Masterbuilt Gravity Series. All right, so first we're gonna start off by talking about the tools that we have available today. First is a wire brush. We're gonna use this to clean the grates off. We have a plastic spatula. This will help get the grime off and not scratch up or ruin any of the surfaces on the grill. We've got this Zep oven and grill cleaner. You wanna watch with a lot of these cleaners is they're not compatible with all grill surfaces. Due to the restrictions on this, we can't clean the outside as this is a painted surface, but we'll be fine using it inside. And then I just have a fresh microfiber towel because I want you to see the grease that we're getting off. So let's go ahead and get in there and do it. So I wanna start out by just scraping off the grates. I'm not gonna do a lot to clean these or degrease these because they're just gonna get dirty and greasy again. So I'm just in here with that wire brush working from the top down. With these master built grates, they're actually two sided. You've got a smoke and a sear side. Right now I have the sear side up, so I'm gonna go ahead and just brush those. They're already fairly clean from the last time we cooked. Then I'm gonna take them flip them over. All right, so same thing. I'm gonna get in there with the wire brush and with a little bit of elbow grease, we're gonna scrape all of this off the best that we can. These grates, they're not perfect, but that's all right. We're gonna go ahead and take them out for a minute. All of them. Now this is what everyone's been asking about. Cleaning down here, come check it out. This is just a couple cooks with some fattier foods. We did some Kobe burgers, we did some beef. This is what everyone has been asking about. How do you clean this? Well, I'll show you. I'm going to start, no cleaner or anything, with this plastic putty knife. And I am just going to scrape as much of that off as I can. And that's why these plastic putty knives are nice, because you don't have to worry about scraping or scratching anything up. And I'm just gonna work my way around all the nooks and crevices, all the nooks and crevices. We're gonna just gonna clean all of that ash and charred up foods. And we're gonna knock it down onto that clean out tray. You can see there's a little plate here this has got some gunk on it as well. I'm gonna get in there and scrape that off too. All right, so now that we've got that scraped off, we're gonna go ahead and pull out the grease pan and it's right here. You'll remember from the install, we got that grease. I'm gonna set this over here to the side then we've got this clean out tray back here. You just want to lift up with two hands and pull that out. 
and there are all of your leftover food particles, all that charred up stuff we scraped off the inside of the grill. We're gonna go ahead and dump this in the trash. We'll see you in just a minute. We're gonna take this grease tray, same thing, plastic scraper. Just gonna fling that right in the trash. This clean out tray isn't quite perfect yet and that's okay. I'm actually going to put it back in. And then I'm gonna put this grease pan back in from the front. And you're probably wondering why those were still a little dirty. Well, I want something to catch the cleaner if there is some excess. And I'm just gonna get in here and I'm going to spray it on this manifold. Get it down in there on the tray. All these little nooks and crannies here. We're gonna give it a few seconds here. And we're, we're degreasing here. We're taking all that excess food. That way we don't have to worry about any excess smoke from burning off that grease or any grease fires potentially. I'm gonna go ahead and take my scraper here and I'm gonna scrape off some of that grease and soot and grime. I'll flip this over to another clean spot on the towel show you how dirty that is. It's like straight tar. And all these inside surfaces, I sprayed them a little bit. Scrape this down as well. Now the Zep oven cleaner suggests that we heat up the grill or the oven to about 200 degrees so that it will start to break up that grease and that fat and that grime. But for safety concerns, we're not gonna heat up the grill and stick our hands in there. We're just gonna do this cold and do a little burn off to get the rest of that oven cleaner off once we're done. So we'll get back in here and just finish scraping up the sides where we sprayed. Now I'm going to take my microfiber towel and I'm gonna wipe the excess off. As you can see there, that was a brand new towel. We've gotten quite a bit off. And like I said, we're not even really focusing on making it shiny new again. We're just trying to clean that grease up, prevent any issues, any grease fires, any excess nasty smoke from that grease burning off. So, we are going to go ahead, pull this grease tray out again. I'm gonna come around back. I'm gonna take my zip, spray this on here. I'm not trying to make this look perfect. We've got another smoke we're about to do here in a little bit. I just wanted to show you how we clean this grill. Got a little bit of paper towel. I'm just gonna go here and wipe up the excess here. Just giving you a nice clean look. Look, it's still picking up a lot of grease. I'll go ahead and put this back in place. 
I got this grease pan here. Go ahead and put it back in place. We're gonna go ahead and get the racks put back in place. And we're gonna go ahead and do that here. Now we will be doing some smoking next. So I'm gonna put these grates back in on the smoke side. You can see there, designated there in the corner. Same with this one. Like I said, the grill's not perfect, but it's looking a lot better. All right, to complete cleaning the grill, we're gonna go ahead and open this up because we are gonna do a little bit of a burn off to get that oven cleaner out. I'm also going to clean the ash clean out. You could see that was from our last couple smokes. A few of you have been asking, uh, is charcoal falling through? As you can see, there are some smaller pieces that did fall through the grate that holds the charcoal in place. All right, so to get this thing started, we've got a Duraflame fire starter here. I'm just going to go ahead and slide that into the slot designated for your fire starter. All right, I've got myself a butane torch. I found that this is going to be a lot easier to light this. And I'm gonna get in here and just get started on that fire starter. The fire starter's been running for a little bit. Coals are getting hot. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these air vents open. I'm actually just gonna leave them in, just pull them out most of the way. I'm gonna close the lid here. I'm gonna close the clean out. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna turn the grill on. We're gonna set this to about 450 degrees. And that fan should kick on. We got the master build up to 450 degrees. You can see that here. We're gonna go ahead and leave it at 450 for like 10 to 15 minutes, let the rest of that oven cleaner burn off. I hope you enjoyed this video where we cleaned out the master built. We'll see you next time. Thanks again for tuning in to Anderson Smoke Show. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel so that you can keep up with the latest content.